The opening round of the Wiesmann FIS Nordic Combined World Cup for the 2022-23 season got underway in Rooka, Finland with three competitions. The first involved the large hill followed by a 5km cross-country race. Ryuta Yamamoto of Japan was the leader after the jumping round as he posted the biggest jump of 143.5 metres to take a 1.9 point or 8 second lead into the cross-country leg. The athletes started the cross-country race in the order that they finished the jumping, so Yamamoto was the one they were all chasing down. Due to the short distance, a close race was expected and it duly delivered. Julian Schmidt of Germany, second after the first round, quickly made up the time difference and soon went in front. A lead he wouldn't relinquish. Behind them, Jens Ofterö of Norway, fourth after the jump, caught and passed Mario Siedl of Austria for third place. And that is how it finished. Schmidt skiing away to register his first ever World Cup victory. Yamamoto coming home in second, while Jens Ofterö secured third. A memorable day for Julian Schmidt of Germany. Race 2 was 24 hours later, but this time it involved one jump and a 10km course for the cross-country section. As he did on day 1, it was Ryota Yamamoto of Japan that took the honours in the ski jump, landing 141 metres, but having a much bigger advantage this time. He had over 30 seconds on the rest of the field. But with eight races within a minute of each other at the top of the standings, another close race was expected. Could Yamamoto draw on his experience of race one to hold off the field, or would the 10 kilometers prove too much? Well, despite the bigger advantage, the field started to close on the Japan skier. Stefan Rettenegger of Austria and Jarl Magnus Oriba of Norway closed to within four seconds of the leader after only 3.6 kilometers. And despite it being close with two and a half to go, it was Oriba who started to ski away. Schmidt held on to take second, but Yamamoto was skied out of the podium places by Jens Oftebro of Norway. Rebear securing a sensational 50th World Cup win of his career, the most of any athlete in Nordic combined history, on a memorable night for the 25-year-old. It's amazing, I was uh, putting a lot of pressure on myself today to uh, turn the failure from yesterday and uh, I think I managed to get out something in the hill but it's still uh, far away from my top potential. So even though with that I take a po uh, the victory today, it's uh, uh, that's just my circulating. The final race of the weekend started with the first ever 10km mass start in Rukka. With the field all starting together, it was little surprise to see them so tightly bunched throughout the 10km. Germany's Vincent Geiger had the lead at the quarter way mark, and he was still in front with just under 4km to go but others were lining up behind him, waiting for their moment to attack. The Norwegians came to the front as they approached the finish line and it was race two winner Jarl Magnus Oriba that came home first from teammate Jens Oftebo, but it was all very tightly packed behind them. And so to the jump and all eyes were on Ryota Yamamoto to see if he could produce another huge jump and barge his way onto the podium from 13th place after the cross country leg. Whilst 140 and a half metres wasn't the biggest of the night, it was enough to see him climb to third. Matteo Bode of France produced a massive jump of 145 metres to leapfrog from 18th to second and secure the first podium of his career. But it was Ribert who kept his cool to deliver the second best jump of the round to take the win. So two wins for Riba on the weekend. The men are in Lillehammer for stop two of the season next weekend.